The vinyl's on Triple M. It's the rush hour with Liesl, Liam and Dobbo. It's your new local one. We are counting you down. State of origin, game one in Sydney. Wendell Saylor is live at the ground already. We're going to cross to him a bit later on. Uh, Dobbo's going to... Uh, you're going to look after Wendell tonight because he's outnumbered in the box. He's got two New South Welshmen there, Wade Graham and Ryan Girdler as part of the call team. So you're going to look after him tonight, Dob. Oh, it's not. It's an impossible fight to do. You can't look after Wendell. He's un, he's uncontrollable. Um, you can try all you like, but you know what? He can't be bent. You're easily led, so don't follow him. No. <laughs> do not. No, if no. you see him go, I've one been way, caught out with Wendell. No, no, Lisa. It's a very good flag because the only times I've ever got in trouble after these kind of matches, grand finals, these has been following Wendell's lead. Mm. The man of the people takes you out and about, and it can it ends in disaster. Nothing good now. happens after 12 p.m. No, exactly. Now After 10.30 at Stadium Australia, nothing good happens. Yeah. <laughs> now, we had, Wendell's, uh, we had Wally Lewis on the show earlier, the king of origin, and we had to get special dispensation from the king <laughs> to allow a New South Welshman mm. into the studio today <laughs> He has been cleared by Wally Lewis himself. We've booked a cleansing session after this yeah. to make sure <laughs> He it's is okay. the captain <laughs> of the Brisbane Broncos. And he joins us in studio. Adam Reynolds, how are you, Reno? Doing well, thank you. Doing very well. <laughs> Special day for me, mate. Obviously, looking forward to a Blues victory. <laughs> oh, where, well. do you, where are you, you going to watch it tonight? Are you watching it with any Broncos teammates or do you watch it at home with the bride and the kids? Um, usually a family ritual where we get around, but it seems it's the first time in Queensland. I thought um, invited a couple of the boys over. Whether they turn up or not, I'm not too sure, but... <laughs> I'll have some uh, blue streamers and um, <laughs> in my blues pyjamas, so I can't wait. What does it feel like when you sit at home and you watch the game? Being still active in the sport, I feel like if you're retired, it's a little bit different. Yep. But you're still so actively involved. Do you f still feel the nerves like you would before? No, not so much the nerves. I pretty much turn into a fan, obviously not being involved in the game. I'd love to be there, but um, obviously got some handy players in front of me. And, um, yeah, I get to turn into a fan for a night, so... Just enjoy the, the spectacle and, um, yeah, it's a, it's a great game to obviously sit back and watch. Who, who called you to tell you you'd been picked for the first, for when you played your first game for New South Wales? Laurie Daly. He was the coach at the time. Yeah. And, um, Do you remember the phone call? Yeah, I remember it uh, clear as day. So um, he, he called me. I was getting ready for dinner and sort of stepped away from the table. Uh, I was a bit rude to the wife. <laughs> said, look, got to take this call. And, um, yeah, got the good news off Loz and pretty much went straight away and packed my bags and... It was like a little kid going on uh, first school camp. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and then what was that moment like getting into camp and, and knowing this is it, I'm, I'm going to be playing State of Origin? Yeah, it was good. It was everything I thought it would be. Um, you know, the boys around you, everyone's happy to be in camp and, and see each other. Uh, it's like, a, a you know, the boys trip away when you, you first get to see each other and everyone's really happy and enjoying the time and um, yeah, the week was fantastic. It was it was built up obviously through the media and um you know, obviously Gow's last series as well, so I had a bit of hype around it. And, yeah, it was an honour to be involved. What about, mate, obviously why this is going on in Origin, and we're all focused on that. We forget there's a full round of NRL kicking off on Friday night. I mean, and, and, and you guys have got as hard a game as it possibly you could ask for and one you need. you got no Tyson Gamble. You take on the Raiders at home at Suncorp Stadium, 7.30 on Saturday night. Um, and these are the games that Brisbane now are expected to win – You've been dogging it for a couple of weeks trying to fake a hamstring because you're getting old. Are we a chance of seeing you back playing this weekend? Yeah, I got through training today uh, pretty well. So um, ticking a few boxes, still got captain's run to get over, but I'm pretty confident I'll be out there. Um, the boys have been doing a good job without me. So obviously a big loss, Tyson. Um, you know, feel for him. He's had a great start to the season and, um, you know, didn't deserve this, but, uh, you know, that's footy. And obviously Ezra Mam gets a, another opportunity. What about what? I've got to ask this now, and you guys, have, Tyson Gamble. I mean, if if I was playing football against him, and a lot of people have said that, you'd just go up and you'd say to your team, "Listen, I'm going to do ten in the bin. I'm going to go and punch <laughs> this bloke out straight up, no, and just <laughs> let him have one because he's he could be the biggest pest I've ever seen on a game. Everybody says he's a cracking bloke, but yeah. he is a complete and utter nuisance on the field. Yeah, he is, and um, we could probably <laughs> throw that in at training as well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't mind getting 10 in the bin at training if you put one on him. But no, he's a, mate, he's a competitor. He likes playing the game. And, um, you know, there's personalities in the game. And obviously we, yeah, sure. we try and shy them away from being who they are. And I think Tyson's a, a prime example of him just sticking to his guns. And 
look, he doesn't go out there to do anything bad or upset anyone. It's just who he is. He he's a competitor and loves getting um, you know amongst it all. There was a bloke by the name of James Maloney that had similar characteristics who seemed to win wherever he turned up. So Mick Ennis, another one. It's been an interesting week. We've lost a couple of coaches, and I didn't realise this, but Dobbo mentioned they do that because State of Origin takes a little bit of heat (laughs) off. We've got Brett Kamali stepping up as Tigers coach. How do you think he would go? I love Brett Kamali. He's a very good friend of mine. How do you think he'll go? Yeah, I think he'll do fine. Um, Obviously, uh, tough circumstances stepping in as an interim coach, but look, he he knows the boys, he knows the squad, and I uh, got a feel for me, mate, Madge. Um, Have you spoken to him? You still talk to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah I still I still speak to him. Um, you know, still keep in contact with him, and um, yeah, a bit of a shame. Obviously, he's built, and he, he's recruited some good players to go to the club next year, and probably, um, you know, they didn't reach their full potential, but look, looking forward, he's probably going to, you know, throw his name up, and, and rightfully so. I think the Bulldogs would be a perfect fit for him with, you know, the amount of players they've got um, coming on board next year, they're they're a nice, tough, gritty club, and that's what he likes. So, uh, but back on Breckamol, he he knows the boys. He's um, you know good at what he does. He's he's well experienced in the game. He's played the game, and obviously he knows the boys. So he's got a bit of a head start. Now I just want to, Lisa and Liam. I mean Adam's new to Triple M, and and he's part of our family, but. He's already just then. He's done. Now, I was going to do a breaking news segment a little later. And the breaking news, the mail I got last night, this is not a word of a lie. I'll read you the text I got last night from one of my sources that said um, it was of just three words. Um, and it said, Madge to the dogs. Now, that's Michael Maguire we're talking about. Now, that's I did some words. digging that's around. Words, yeah. words, mate. Sorry. <laughs> he breaks yep. stories. He doesn't, he's not a mathematician. Right? <laughs> not a, he can't I'm, be I'm not good English. So. <laughs> I've heard this mail that Michael Maguire is a big chance of going to the dogs, right? And and guess what? Little Adam Reynolds, he still doesn't want to be seen as a journo. He just wants to be this little halfback battler, Redfern, now out in the northern suburbs of Brisbane. He's just gone, oh, I think the dogs would be a great fit. I'll just yeah, go try and keep know, up with you, mate. That's yeah. the, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> keep you on your toes, you know. I'm yeah, coming for your job up. after footy. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, if you want it, you can have it. I can tell you. <laughs> but look, dead set, I'm hearing Michael Maguire. It's not of the one the bloke told, I said to a bloke, last night what how true is it and he said oh i'm 80 percent sure he said he'd be a great fit for the dogs and yeah. and obviously that they've had discussions so even though he's been sacked from the west tigers do you think he would do a good job at the dogs i think he'd do a great job um there's a few similarities looking back at uh, obviously when he started on at south dominant forward pack um you know I, I rate the forward pack of the dogs and you know they got some them handy pickups coming up obviously they've got burton on board already they've got kick out coming on board reed marnie um, they got a fair squad. At a car, um, he loves that tough, gritty style of footy, and obviously, uh, you know, he knows how to get the best out of the boys. And if you wanted someone who's so dedicated and um, on board to an improving in club, uh, matches your man. So, oh, that now that is an endorsement. Mm-hmm. Uh, now let's let's step back into the state of Origin Arena for a moment, Reno, because you got some teammates out there tonight, some teammates making their yeah. debuts in State of Origin. Tony Stagg, Selwyn Cobbo, Patrick Carrigan. Yep. Have you, did they ask you about playing Origin? Did any of them, particularly Katoni, as a New South Welshman, did any of them come and pick your brain? Uh, not really. Um, it's such a big week. It's such, you know, for a new fellow going into there, I can remember my first game and, you know, the amount of media hype and all that sort of stuff you get, you don't need that other external <laughs> sort of voices in your head as well can sort of get on your nerves and overdo things. Mm. Uh, look, they're all quality players. They got picked for a reason. They're, um, you know, in really good form and they just need to continue what they're doing. Oh, yeah. Billy Slater, he's on debut as well. How do you <laughs> think he's going to go as a coach? <laughs> yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about Bill. Um, Dobbo's, Dobbo's declared him a super coach in the making. He hasn't, he hasn't even hasn't coached a game. An emerging <laughs> super coach, he I hasn't said. coached the a game. Yeah. You can um, still emerge. He's still emerging. <laughs> well, it's a good audition tonight, obviously, yeah. um, going in as underdogs. But, um, look, he, he knows Origin. He's been in and around it for a number of years now. Obviously, spent some time with Craig Bellamy as well, who's arguably one of the best coaches of all time. So, um, yeah, it would be interesting to sort of see what sort of game plan they, they come up with. But, um, yeah, nice, tough challenge for him first up how, how hard was he to play against mate as a player when you were when you obviously you played against him numerous times how tough was he to play against yeah, extremely tough fast agile um you know moves great um uh, and always competes on every play he's always looking for an opportunity and he's always probing up up 
somewhere of the field, um, off Cooper or off Cam. Um, so, yeah, it was a constant threat. You needed to be on your toes and be alert to where he was at all times. So, no doubt we'll see some little fellas in the game tonight popping up in weird places, Dobbo. And, <laughs> um, yeah, should be a good game. Uh, well, now say it quietly because remember where you are, Reno. Prediction? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think it'll be a – it's usually a low-scoring contest mm-hmm. first game. Um, obviously, Sydney, it's pretty cold. Dobbo's got his thermals on, I hear. Um, <laughs> uh, I think New South Wales, 16-10. Tight game. Yeah. Um, home crowd gets them home, but um, would yeah. you like some security as yeah, you walk out the door? You might need that. He's yeah, a brave I, man. I was going to wear my blues jumper in, oh, but I don't. thought that's a bit too much. Yeah. So. <laughs> I've got a. I've dead set had a bet on the on the Maroons tonight. Thirteen plus. That's how confident I am Jeez. on them. I don't. I, I'm. I, I'm in this tight Jeez. game. He's <laughs> a brave man in Sydney. Down there, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Adam Reynolds. Well, on the upside, we we are crossing everything that we'll see out there on the weekend against the Raiders. Yeah, looking forward to getting out there. Obviously, it's going to be a tough game. Um, I so think you will be out there, though? 90% I will oh, be out there. Oh, Look, they've, they've been in great form this year. Obviously, losing Tyson isn't good. Puts a little bit of pressure on us. We've been working um, extremely hard on the defence. Mm-hmm. Our defensive coach has done an outstanding job over the... the uh, bumper. Yeah, bumper. Brett, big Brett O'Farrell. He's a <laughs> big, large man, a um, bit of a cowboy. But, no, he's um, he's done a tremendous job with us, obviously the technical side of things. And um, if we're to win the game on the weekend, it needs to be through our defence. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to getting out there. Adam Reynolds, a pleasure to have you in here. All thanks to uh, Ariat. Now, Ariat Rebar Work Jeans, they're built to form, built to last, built for you. Check them out at ariat.com.au. And when I say our friends at Ariat, I mean your friends, Reno, and my friends. Yep. Because uh, <laughs> our man Dobbo was meant to turn up at, at a lovely <laughs> dinner at the Brecky Creek yeah. the other week. No, no show. No show. Oh, come on. No both show. you know where I was. I was working for Triple M. but uh, And you know who paid? Ariat. They paid for both of you. Yeah, so we had a delightful, a delightful dinner. Terry and Peter. Who was, was the a, Uber a driver for you, Liam? Sorry, dropping and a you shout out to Lisa door. Jones, my Uber driver, who <laughs> dropped me at the door of the Brecky <laughs> and Creek. And then had to go. <laughs> the wonderful people at Ariat that, that bought us the Peter delicious and Terry, dinner. Good Peter no and Terry. No free bread roll for me. No, yeah, I didn't get it. Actually, Adam didn't need his bread roll. I could have stuck it I could have had it. Sorry. Next time. Next time. Yeah, next time, Dobbo. Turn up to the dinner that you organised, mate. Okay. Yeah, right. Hey, Reno, thank you for coming in. Always a pleasure to chat to you. Enjoy the game tonight. Will do, mate. For the sake of Queensland, I hope you don't enjoy it too a much. Pleasure. <laughs> uh, go yeah. the Blues, oh, eh? No. <laughs> <laughs>